Time now for our hometown heroes, where we stop to recognize someone who deserves the spotlight. A teen in Indiana is crushing running records on his way to the state meet tomorrow, but it is his journey to America that is inspiring those around him. News Nation reporter Colton Howard has his story. And your champion with a time of 1555 from Angola, Isaiah Sturry. In the last 12 months, he's run 3,000 miles, which is essentially about 60 miles a week for the last 12 months. With the help of a coach, an unmatched determination, and time to test limits during stay at home orders earlier this year, Angola junior Isaiah Sturry emerging as one of the state's and nation's best high school distance runners. The angle that we took, both of us, was um, the more miles that he could put in, March through July, the better he's going to have a peak for for state for cross country. He told me if you if you push yourself, you really can do somewhere. And um, I followed his plan, and now it seems like it's working. So I'm really excited where that's going to go. Mile split national runner of the week, USA's track and field runner of the month, and even breaking national records for times at races. What stewry has been able to accomplish just in his third year of high school is remarkable. The accolades it's hard to keep up with, you know, and the, and the times, and the, he just keeps breaking school records like every time he goes out there. Seems like. I mean, it's awesome. I, I'm. I'm so happy and great, but I mean, I'm not satisfied. I could say I want to do better and I just want to improve. While Sturry reaps the benefits of the sport he loves now, his story starts in Ethiopia with the childhood of one hardship after another. When my mother was still alive, um, it was great, really awesome. I was treated uh, with the best and respect, but after that, I mean, everything did change. Born in a small countryside village in Ethiopia, Sturry's biological dad leaving him at birth and his mom passing away unexpectedly left him without a family in search of a place to call home, so he tried living with his stepfather. I wasn't very respected. Um, I wasn't wanted because he, he wasn't. I wasn't his own child. I was nothing basically. For a while, Stewie bouncing around from relative to relative. At some point, getting mistreated or beaten everywhere he went. It was awful time, and I've cried so much. Now these days, I can't even cry anymore. Stewie eventually found his way back to his sister's house, and it was there that they decided the best place for him would be an orphanage. My sister put me in a great place to be. So. And then now I'm, I'm really here. But how did he wind up over 7,500 miles away from Ethiopia to a small town in northeast Indiana? Well, that's where the stories of Angola come in. Everyone wants to adopt the little babies. And so they had these older orphans that they just wanted to try to get put into homes. The stories giving it a shot. First hosting Isaiah for four weeks under the strict condition that adoption was not to be mentioned. In case something came up, you know, between then and, and the adoption process completing, they didn't want us to say anything to them about adoption. So, but he called us mom and dad. Moving into a new country and learning a new language, there was reason to be nervous, but Isaiah was just happy someone wanted to love him as much as he wanted to be loved. The translator in Ethiopia at the orphanage told us that he kept asking, like, when's mom and dad coming back to get me? When's mom and dad coming back to get me? It's just been a, quite a journey for me, and I'm just so blessed that God has been there for me, and so even at my lowest point, he was there, and right now he's been there. God has truly blessed us because Isaiah is definitely a gift. Given plenty of reason to put his life in Ethiopia in the past, the runner instead embracing his culture. I don't want to forget my childhood because that's what really brought me to be here today. And uh, without my childhood, really, I wouldn't be who I am because I wouldn't be as strong and um, as motivated. And that's why he's going to be great because he's taking the talent that he's been given, but he's going to maximize it with his work ethic and his mental toughness. He just, he has that rare gift. That, that as a coach, I can't teach that mental toughness. Since a young shepherd in Ethiopia, Sturry's always dreamed big, so it's no surprise as to where he wants his running career to take him. My dream is someday to be um, an Olympian. Do I think we'll see him on TV someday running in the Olympics? I do, you know, in his late 20s. Um, if he stays motivated and stays healthy and, and just keeps that same, you know, incredible personality he has right now and, and love for the, for the sport of running. In the marathon of life, Stewie keeping great pace. Colton Howard, News Nation, Angola.
And with everything he's been through, right, says every day is a blessing. Just mm. an incredible kid. And by the way, the Indiana State Cross Country Meet is happening tomorrow in Terre Haute. We wish Isaiah and the rest of the runners the best of luck. And it sounds like he's a favorite. Oh.